Hello everyone, this is DJ from GaragePhone.net Academy coming at you with another episode of CG Insight, fresh news from CGI industry. Today we're taking a look at the freshly released Luxcore Render 2.3. If you've been rendering arcs and especially interiors in Blender, you're probably using cycles. But there are alternatives available. Some commercial engines are available for Blender, but they are not really perfectly integrated inside Blender. Luxcore Render is different, so let's have a look at this. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to get notified whenever our new videos come out. Just to make a quick uh, introduction to Luxco Render for you, you can t uh, check the official Luxco Render org to get it. And the major feature that it's providing is physically based rendering, and it's really set to high standards in terms of physically accurate renderings. Heterogeneous computing, which basically means that Luxco Render can use any kind of uh, CPU or GPU using OpenCL. Of course, the, one of the major things about Luxor is that it's free software forever, just like Blender. And it has some really nice advanced features, different path tracing and caching algorithms suitable for a number of scenarios, as not every scene uh, requires the same method to be rendered efficiently and fast. And the last point here is a gallery where you can have a look at the awesome artwork created with the Luxor render by the community. I'm taking a look at the, at the official test scene from Luxcore Render team and the first thing I wanted to show you is awesomely integrated Intel AI Denoiser which makes really magic. You can see that there's a low sample render and it looks pretty decent so if you if you need quick preview renders with quite high quality it's there for you and it rendered just a few minutes. You can make a viewport render inside your Blender scene. No need to export the scene out. Of course, the materials are not 100% compatible with uh, cycles. You need to re rework the shaders if you're going to use Luxcore render. There is an option to convert cycles materials to Luxcore, but of course, it's not like 100% accurate, so it's better. So if you if you really want to dig into Luxcore, it's better to understand its own nodes. And there are some really nice tutorials for that already prepared by Drive Studio. One of the things that Luxcore render really excels at is glass. And the test scene also shows that it handles subsurface scattering objects very well. She is here in the scene, looking really, really realistic. And Luxcore, in its core, is an unbiased render engine. But after changing from Lux Render to Luxcore Render, it also introduces some GI caching options, so you can get some nice speed ups with this. And especially in interiors, it handles uh, global illumination lighting very fast and very, very nice. Let's have a brief look at the official announcements of the 2.3 release. What's new uh, in this particular release? The development of Luxcore going really steadily and fast, so you can expect more features and fixes arriving pretty quickly into this render engine. I wanted to pick some uh, cherries from this. There's the accelerated export for instances and particles. This might be really useful if you're working on an exterior scene and using a lot of instancing or particles, especially for trees, grass and stuff like that. As seen with 100,000 particles, it went down from 63 seconds in the previous release to 1.3 seconds total export time in 2.3. So this is a really huge speed up. And, and one really awesome thing that I've already seen showcased by Bone Studio in his Luxco render review is OpenVDB node, which allows you to use OpenVDBs. So you can just import OpenVDB to render some volume objects created with a software that you use for simulations. You can render these kind of volumetric objects inside Luxco render and it works really well. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, found it useful. I'm really excited by how Luxco render is developed and as a Blender user, I'm really glad that there are a lot of options appearing Especially in interiors, Luxor Render seems to seems a really viable option. If you have your own opinions on Luxor Render, don't hesitate to share your experience in the comments. Or if you'd really like to get some tutorials on using Luxor Render with interiors in Blender, don't hesitate to contact us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when new videos come out. And see you in the next tutorials and episodes of CG Inside.